boys and girls. This is lesson number two. We are going to decorate our sketchbooks and we've already completed our self-portrait. That was lesson number one. That should be on the very first page in here. And then today what you're going to do is you are going to decorate your cover of your sketchbook however you want plus you're going to add the first letter of your name. Okay, so this sticker that I have on here labels it as your sketchbook. If you want to cover up the directions, because we already know them now, you could certainly do that and leave my sketchbook. Or if you want to cover this up all together, I'm fine with that too. You just need to make sure that you keep this sketchbook um, after you decorate it with all of your school stuff. So this should always stay with you so that you have it on hand for art, okay? Um, what I want you to do today is I want you to create a letter of your name decide if you're going to cover this up and then decorate your cover and you can use any materials but i do not suggest that you use paint paint is something that will go through this or possibly get the pages of your sketchbook wet and then they are not as usable so you want to make sure that you use markers you could collage so you could use cut paper and glue it down or you can use color pencils and you can decorate I want you to focus on the front, but you can decorate the back if you want to, okay? So that you have to get the front cover done, but if you wanted to add more, you can go to the back. All right, let's get started. All right, here are some materials you need. Of course you need your sketchbook, some glue, a pair of scissors, and some coloring materials, any materials you choose, and an extra sheet of paper. Take the sheet of paper and fold it in half putting the two short sides together, open it back up so you can see the line down the center. Take your pencil and lightly draw your first letter of your name two times. Notice how I'm drawing it very large. Then using your color of your choice, trace over your letter multiple times. The first one, I just want you to use nice smooth lines and trace over and over again until it makes a nice thick letter. This is good practice for your hands. And on the second letter, you are going to trace over it with either a line or a shape. In this case, I chose circles. You do not have to copy me. Uh, make sure that you put lots of shapes or lines to fill your letter to make it thicker. I don't just do this once, you'll notice that I do it multiple times. Finish drawing your letters and making them nice and thick and then you need to erase any pencil marks left over and cut your two letters apart. You can cut them out or you can keep them on the paper. In fact, I made lots of different letters but you can just make one if you want to. I kept this one and then I decided to glue it down over my sticker. I used glue stick to glue it down but if you don't have a glue stick you can use glue bottle and just use a little bit. I put a box around the edges and an X in the middle and then covered it and put it right in the center. But you could put your letter sideways if you wanted to or even diagonal. Then just use whatever coloring materials you have on hand and decorate your cover. I decided to make some bold colors around the edges and lighter colors in the middle, but you can add lines, shapes, you can draw your favorite things, whatever you like. Make your sketchbook your own and have some fun with it. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And remember, this is not about copying Miss Hutchins. Definitely put your own ideas in there. I can't wait to see it on our next Zoom meeting. See you then.